today in crypto. Is Ethereum about to explode, pushing the price higher? I think it may just be ready for that. There is so much happening right now that is painting a seriously bright and bullish picture for Ethereum right now, from flipping Bitcoin in transactions to layer two scaling to Ethereum 2.0 and so much more. Quite simply, I believe that if you are not bullish on Ethereum right now, then you are not paying attention to what is happening in crypto right now. My name is Lark, and this is where you subscribe for all of the hottest and all of the latest happening out here in the wild, wild land of crypto. By the way, you still have a week to get into the insane BlockFi Halloween promotion. You can get up to a $275 Bitcoin bonus for starting an account and making your first deposit. Now the $275 that is for deposits over $10,000, but there are also great incentives even for smaller accounts, you can literally get $25 in free Bitcoin for only making a $25 deposit to BlockFi. So it like doubles your Bitcoin, put 25 bucks in. That is crazy and super awesome. Now, in addition to those bonuses, you are also going to be earning interest in your interest account. So you're going to get 6% on Bitcoin, 5.25% on Ethereum, 4% on Paxos Gold, 5% on Litecoin and 8.6% on US dollars like USDC. Now to be eligible for the bonus, you need to sign up using the link down below in the description, but you better hurry because this offer ends soon. Also, I have one other quick announcement for you. I'm going to be doing an AMA with the guys over at Crypto Atlas. So Crypto Atlas, it's kind of like a social media site for cryptocurrency, so you can connect with influencers, but also they're hosting regular AMAs with really people just from all over the crypto industry, from, you know, content creators to project leads and all kinds of stuff. So it's a really cool website for that too. Now as an extra bonus during this AMA, I'm going to be giving away three three-month subscriptions to the Wealth Mastery newsletter. And I'll leave a link to that uh, down below as well. So you can check out the AMA page, pop over there, leave your question for me to answer during the AMA. And of course, then tune in on Wednesday, 9 a.m. New Zealand time, which is Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, later in the evening for everyone in Europe. So it should be a lot of fun. So make sure to check that out as well. Now let's get into this topic on Ethereum and let's start by taking a look at the charts. Now the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart is looking super, super hot right now. This descending wedge that we're in, we've been forming this since September on the daily and it's heading towards its terminal point right now. This is a very bullish chart pattern which has a 68% chance of breaking to the upside, meaning that Ethereum right now is potentially on the cusp of a big rally. Now that's just versus Bitcoin, but obviously if it moves strongly versus Bitcoin, the dollar valuation is gonna go up as well. Also, if we look at the Ethereum HODL wave, more than 60% of the entire supply of Ethereum has not moved in over a year. This means that Ethereum HODLers, they have no intention of selling off their ETH for these kind of prices. They are waiting for much, much higher valuations before they check out, which provides a bullish base of strong hands at the bottom of the market here for Ethereum. Also, the Ethereum realized price has hit a 21 month high and is now at $246. That's a level not seen since January 2019. Now, the, the realized price, this is a metric that takes the average price of each Ethereum at the time that it was last moved on chain, meaning that there is, again, a very strong bullish narrative forming up here. A lot of hodlers in profit and again, not taking profits here. But perhaps the most simple bullish chart that I have seen this year for Ethereum is this one. Ethereum has now become the dominant settlement layer in the cryptocurrency markets on schedule to top $1 trillion in total transaction volume this year, putting Ethereum a whopping $200 billion ahead of Bitcoin. That is unreal, man. Ethereum flipping Bitcoin in terms of transaction volume, this is such a big story. It has become the dominant settlement layer in crypto, far eclipsing any other smart contract platform. In fact, I would not be surprised 
if Ethereum actually did more value than all of the other smart contract platforms combined. Now, I don't have those numbers, but I suspect that if we were to boil all that down, it would likely be true. And flipping Bitcoin in terms of transaction volume, that's just, it's so big for Ethereum. It's such just a, a massive statement of the technology being built on Ethereum and how much people want to be using it and how much they are using it. This one statistic alone just makes me super bullish on Ethereum. But check out these other network statistics. Ethereum wallet MetaMask now has over 1 million monthly average users. And that is just one wallet MetaMask. I don't have the numbers for uh, Trust Wallet or my Ether Wallet or Ledger or the other, you know, dozens of wallets supporting Ethereum. But I think we can extrapolate that this means we have a lot more than 1 million monthly average users for Ethereum. If just MetaMask is getting those kind of numbers, throw all the other wallets on and it paints a very bullish picture once again. And the applications on Ethereum are super popular as well. So popular that Uniswap, again, just one single Ethereum application is now doing more daily volume on some days than Coinbase, the world's largest crypto exchange. They're one of the world's largest crypto exchanges. Again, that's just total insanity. Ethereum is seeing incredible usage and incredible demand from people for its applications. But the one thing that has happened with this massive influx of Ethereum users is that fees have been going crazy, sometimes reaching painful levels. And while they have come back down to earth in the last couple of weeks, it does remain a worry for Ethereum users. And next time we see a big spike, fees will go with it, except we do have some good news. And that is that Ethereum is the most innovative blockchain out there with an incredible developer community that has been pushing out some just amazing scaling tools for Ethereum, meaning that the next time we see a big spike in usage, the fees may not go that crazy. For example, Synthetix and Uniswap, they are both in the process of implementing roll-up technology for, the app, for their applications, which will reduce fees when using Uniswap or using Synthetix to pennies and increase transaction capacity on these apps by like 100 times. We have others like Matic and OMG and XDAI. They've already deployed their just insanely scalable technology for Ethereum. So it's happening here now today. There are at least a dozen scaling providers working right now to make sure Ethereum works here now today. This means that in spite of limitations on the main chain that Ethereum, it is ready to scale into the big leagues via layer two. Also meaning that other blockchains, even the faster ones, are really gonna struggle to find relevance when Ethereum is scaling already without even implementing ETH 2.0. Now, the next big factor is EIP-1559. Now, this is a proposal which will introduce fee burning for Ethereum. Now, the proposal is undergoing an extensive round of research at the moment. And while we do not yet have a release date for when EIP-1559 is going to come in, we know that the impact of it is going to be big when it does. Now, if the proposal had been implemented one year ago, then a total of more than one million Ethereum would have been burnt. That's incredible. This is an extreme deflationary effect. It's going to be big in terms of the long-term economics of Ethereum, and of course, obviously, have a strong impact on the price of Ethereum in the long run. Then we have ETH 2.0. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's so close now. We have already had successful test nets ironing out, ironing out the wrinkles, making things ready for the official launch. At this time, we're likely a few days to a few weeks away from an official announcement regarding the Genesis launch of Ethereum 2.0 and the opening up of the deposit contract. Again, no date yet today, but it's coming a lot sooner than people expect. And I think that a lot of people underestimate just how big of a catalyst ETH 2.0 is going to be, I mean, just the announcement of the official date for the Genesis launch, that's going to pump Ethereum hard. It's going to drive a lot of excitement. But more importantly, if we want to talk about uh, pumping Ethereum to the moon and some kind of explosive price action potential, what we're talking about is when the deposit contract actually goes live. We can expect millions 
of Ethereum, perhaps even tens of millions of Ethereum to move to ETH 2.0. This is super significant because 2.0, phase zero, it is a one-way street where that Ethereum is going to be locked up possibly for uh, over a year to collect those early staking rewards. Now, what this means is that we could soon be facing a supply side crisis for Ethereum. You can also throw in here that Grayscale already has 2% of the supply of Ethereum and their recent announcement that they received SEC reporting status means that they are going to be able to onboard a lot more users, bring in a lot more liquidity to their Grayscale Ethereum products. Now, when we combine Grayscale and DeFi with, of course, ETH 2.0 and that one-way street, millions of Ethereum being staked into the staking contract, you've got a strong mix coming here to push prices higher as Ethereum moves into ETH 2.0. Right now, I really feel like looking at Ethereum, it's one of those uh, all of the stars aligning kind of moments. And look, this, this conversation, I haven't even scratched the surface of what's going on with Ethereum right now. I didn't get into DeFi, I didn't get into stable coins, I didn't get into NFTs or bonds or enterprise adoption or any of the other super bullish stuff happening right now on Ethereum. That's just the surface, guys. That's just the big stuff that's going to make the price go up, 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 up. Everything else, bonuses. Anyway, that is just my two way for the day. What do you think? Are you super excited about Ethereum right now like I am? Or has Lark been hitting that hopium bong just a bit too hard recently? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.